Hey guys, it's September 2013. Gonna do the latest on the Goosebumps film adaptation from Sony Pictures. And the director's still the same, Robert Letterman from Shark Tale and Monsters vs. Aliens and the Gulliver's Travel reboot, which starred Jack Black, which I haven't heard a good thing ever said about it, haven't seen it. And that's the big news of this fall. There hasn't been any news since the winter of 2013. And the big news is that they hired Jack Black as the lead character. And they still haven't announced whether it's going to be an anthology or if it's going to be live action. I'm assuming it's going to be live action, but I don't know why they hired this animation director. But we'll see. And he's supposed to be playing an author that's supposed to resemble R.L. Stein, And his characters come alive off the pages to attack this author in the movie and I don't see how Jack Black can really I really don't want to see him carry the whole movie with him and just acting as Jack Black with CGI characters so we'll see how it goes we'll see if it's an anthology or not when I think of Jack Black R.L. Stein isn't the first thing that comes to mind R.L. Stein is hilarious though he turns 70 this October 2013 and I love this guy's quotes he'll say things like oh people always ask me do I see ghosts well no but I keep looking and he'll be like he has a his latest book coming out for the goosebumps most wanted coming out is is called Dr. Maniac will see you now, due out October 1st, 2013. That kind of has a similar plot to this. It's supposed to be comic book characters come al coming alive. And everyone knows, I mean, what would this world be like without if R.L. Stein never picked up a typewriter? Because he literally owned children's books in the 90s. And there's still huge, like, diehard fans to this day that actually write them in the mail. You can see a bunch of interviews with him online. And he'll say things, oh, with the Goosebumps TV series, there's so many, so much input. Because they all want to put all the subliminals in it. He's like, but with the books, you know, I type what I want and I send it in. But with these TV series, they have all these board meetings and whatnot. Jack Black's basically just going to be himself. And he's supposed to be up, upcoming in Kung Fu Panda 3. As well as a Will Ferrell comedy called Tag. That sounds interesting, Jack Black and Will Ferrell. <laughs> and I know that the, they tried to develop a film adaptation. You know, Tim Burton once tried to develop one in the late 90s of Goosebumps, which never came. And then Sony, who acquired the rights like in 08 is slowly been trying to develop one and now it's finally gaining steam so I'm sure more plot details so this is the first kind of plot details that we've heard so far so this should be interesting and and uh, there's already been a, three other Goosebumps mo books to come out this year too including Son of Slappy which is obviously the most iconic villain that he created, the ventriloquist dummy. Also, Frankenstein's dog and how I met my monster. Anyway, that's pretty much all the news of the latest in fall 2013 on the Goosebumps. This was JBM from Villain News. Click on the channel for more horror, sci-fi, and comic book news updates. Oh yeah, another note to throw in there. I know Dr. Sleep are from Stephen King. That's the sequel to The Shining. That book's supposed to come out in September, coming up here. Also, oh man, I, oh yeah, a new uh, Murder, She Wrote novel is supposed to come out in October 2013 also, so look for those on Amazon. Anyway, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments on the Goosebumps franchise.